hands together, open up your hearts, minds, and let's bring to this roster my brother from Chester, PA, Student Minister Keith Muhammad. Slamigo. All praise is due to Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness to his prophets and his messengers. We thank Allah for each and every one of them. The Holy Quran teaches us some he mentions, some he doesn't mention. That's right. But regardless to whether we know their names or not, they have moved us to this point in time and history that we are currently living in. So we thank Allah for each and every one of them. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon them all. But as a student of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, living in 2019, being born amongst the black man and woman of America, I'm especially grateful and thankful to Allah for his intervention in our affairs in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad, who came amongst us a lost and destroyed people and raised from our ranks a divine leader, teacher, and guide, his exalted servant, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And to them both, I will forever be thankful and grateful for their servant and apostle in our midst today, God's mercy in person. Uh, the honorable minister, Louis Farrakhan, in their names, I greet you once again, my dear brothers and sisters, in the greeting words of peace, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, brothers and sisters, I'm honored and humbled to be before you. I thank Allah for this brief opportunity. I thank our regional student minister, Brother Rodney Muhammad, for his uh, dedication and work and commitment to the cause of Islam that I have benefited greatly from being with him for all these years. Very briefly, brothers and sisters, uh, especially if you were here for your first time, especially if you are not a student of the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I want you to listen to the words of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as it pertains to the truth that you will hear and already have heard from those who have been before us today because we have been so conditioned by our enemy that we will reject the truth because truth has been made stranger than fiction. We can accept the false concepts and ideas that are not rooted in reality very easily because of the fantasy type teaching that we have been conditioned with from birth. But today you will hear the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth that is rooted in mathematics, science, the laws of nature and the scriptures. Listen to the words of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in this great book, Message to the Black Man. If you don't have it, Make sure you get it before you leave today. He says on page 16, talking about Moses and the children of Israel. He says, they should have made Pharaoh answer the question, who made you God over us? They were born under Pharaoh's teaching, therefore, from their early existence, they believed in Pharaoh, right or wrong. They worshiped Pharaoh's God, and when Moses made himself present, they wanted Moses to give them a good knowledge of who had sent him and made him such a man. If today a Moses were in your midst, and he said, the God of your fathers has sent me, and the government of America has deceived you as to the knowledge of God, and he has indirectly, he has you indirectly worshiping them. Wouldn't you reply, or your reply be the same as the one given to Moses? That is right. You are asking me. A man questioned me the other day when he said, you mean to say that you talk to God face to face. We have been conditioned from early, uh, from our early life to believe in this world its ideas and concepts without question. But what you've already heard today, I can see on some of our faces as Sister Linda was talking, a little puzzled look. Because we have a problem thinking about existing without our open enemy. The minister spoke yesterday as I take leave. If you didn't listen, please go listen, NOI.org, to his address to the Encobra Conference. And he addressed the group and he said at one point, how many of you want to separate? Wow. And everybody said, yeah. He said, don't answer so quickly. He said, because some of us are really in love and attached to this world. 
and we still believe in it because we think it will change as it addresses or it is as it pertains to their treatment of us. 464 years should have proven, should have proven to us that our enemy is who and what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us he is. He is our open enemy. He is the devil of our scripture and he will never change as it pertains to his nature and treatment of us. It is us that must change. You and I must change our minds, our hearts, and we must understand the truth that has been revealed is from God himself. Yes, God cares about the black man and woman of America. Yes, God raised somebody for us from our ranks. It's hard to conceive that because a nigga ain't nothing. Never was nothing, never will be. That's our concept. So listen carefully to the truth that will come from our beloved sister today. If you listened to the minister yesterday as I did, I heard everything Sister Ava was saying on Friday night. Right in line with the truth of God coming from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. May Allah bless you. Thank you all as I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. Give him another round of applause. Chester PA, student minister, Keith Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah.